Right, I'm going to see if I can finish this up here in this tutorial. I'm going to take the zoom tool and click and drag, zooming in right here on this little area. If I press the space bar, I'll get the hand tool and I can pan over. Go to the blob brush and see the size of the brush. It's smaller. Add and change that line there, and then actually select the tip of this finger, move it down, over, using the arrow key on my keyboard, and now back to the blob. There's the blob. Add this part of the hand and then the thumb. Pretty good. I'll zoom in again on the hand, right on the thumb. Looks a little wrinkly. Space bar and eraser tool and left bracket key, maybe to here. And erase up to there, and erase here, and erase here, and let's bring this down. And thicken up this part of the hand. Here we go. And here I'll see that my thumb looks just a little too padded. Maybe I want it to have more of a flat tip shape here. Too many points. Let's get the smooth tool. Click and drag. Better. Straighten this out. Straighten that out. And I'm going to move the whole thumb down. So this is a good use here if I can get the point lasso tool. There it is. Okay. And I'm going to lasso around these points and using the down arrow, lower my thumb quite a bit. And now it looks all wrinkly and weird. I'm going to press the R for rotate or press the rotate tool here and click and see if I can pivot this out a bit and you can see now there's this big hole in it okay and let's remove the hole with the delete point and delete this point that looks extra this has kind of been a roundabout way of drawing this and very kind of a little crazy but I did it this way so that you could get an idea of what's possible so let's just finish up this spot on the hand and I'm kind of feeling like I still want this pointer finger to be smaller, this index finger. So select, whoa, we whoa. I'll select around those points. Let's try that again. And arrow down and over. Looks good. Let's move this one out a bit. Let's here, let's move that over. And Direct selection tool, yada yada. Okay, now what I have feels like much more of a hand. And there's some little wrinkles in it and whatnot, and I'll clean those up and call this finished. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to go with the smooth tool, smooth this out, smooth this out. I don't want these weird little bumps. Smooth that out. This looks a little emaciated here, like this hand was in an accident, so I'll... Nope, oh, didn't get it. Didn't get the... I got all the points instead of a single point there. And... There we go. Let's check over here. We've got some funky little divots. Smooth tool. Smooth tool. 
and again, let's see what we have. I'm going to zoom out, command minus, and for the size that that hand is in that flame, I think I'm all right with that. I'm going to leave it like that. So there's my wacky looking hand logo flame thing. And finally, to finish it off, smoothing here and smoothing here. All right. Done, done, done. A little not so done. Done, done, not done. Okay, one more bit here. Let's bring this guy down. Yikes. There we go. All right, and a little more smoothing. Not bad at all. I'm going to add one more point here and see what happens. I add one more point right there. Up, oh, up. Oh. Got to get away from that point that's there. There, I added the point. And what happens if I remove the point next to it? Okay and then turn it, oh, I don't think I removed it, I turned it into a corner point and now I'll turn this one into a corner point and then see we'll have this like little divot there. I just press Z to get the zoom tool and I'm going to click and drag right around that spot because I really do want this to be kind of pointy at the end but I have a straight segment right in here. Just pull this up. It's a little wonky right there. And pull that up, pull this down, and then here I'll smooth this part. Can I smooth that? And I'll smooth this part. So this is still looking like a corner point. It added another point there, a couple points there. That looks a little better. And I probably just want this to be one curve. The economy of points, having fewer points generally gives you a better curve. So in here, I probably have too many points to express this curve. If I just erase that, which is not what I wanted to do, I wanted to smooth it. That's better. See, now there's fewer points and this curve looks more smooth. And I want fewer points. All right, I'm going to stop there, click away, and that is the end of that tutorial for now. See you soon.